Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some cassette beats, shall we? I don't know anything about this game. It looked cool. I, it's on Xbox PC Game Pass now, and it looks like a kind of monster collecting Pokemon style game from the screenshots, but I'm going to dive in for the first time and see what it's all about. We're just going to click play just like that. An empty cassette file, sure. Now rides the night through the realm into the wilderness of Wirall, few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Ah, Sir Gawain. You know, it's a fantastic long form medieval poem about some King Arthur shenanigans and it's one of the places in Arthurian legend where King Arthur himself is not the hero and is actually acts pretty badly in the poem it's pretty amusing so who am I well um, I'm going to be somebody else let's see uh, how do I change this can I change my name Not very easily. Alright, so I made this character, and I don't think I can actually change my name. I think I need to be cast because it's cassette beats, maybe. But this looks great. This looks very good. There is no blue skin color, so we're going to go with this one, and we're going to just... Oh my. Drop down into this rainbow vortex wormhole. And we're at Harbortown Beach. And I can jump. And I can apparently dash. My goodness. What an interesting looking game. Uh, it's, you know, it looks like it's this 2D pixely game. But then there are these shadows dropping down to make it 3D. It, it kind of, it, with the lighting and such, it, ha it has a, and the the focus and the depth of feel going on. It feels a bit like Octopath Traveler in the graphics. It's great. All right, so I washed up on shore here. I did like a little dash move. And there's a cool down. I'm just checking out the beach to the left and to the right, see if there's anything over here. Well, there is a staircase. And there's a red and blue bridge, maybe? And there's a lady with a beret and a traffic cone with a crab. Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves, beret lady says. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers or anyone for that matter. They don't look like they would. So there's some pretty awesome music going on. And we've got a nice turn-based battle ahead of us and... She's drawn very well. Uh, I like the, the art in this game a lot. Here, take this. That is a Walkman with some headphones. All right. Quick question. What's your aesthetic? Spooky or sweet? Uh, <laughs> my aesthetic of these choices is going to be sweet. Yeah. yeah, I could see that. In this case, that case, take this I want candy so we got a canned devil canned devils possess the peculiar ability to generate sugary sweets from their bodies that's a great ability which can be used as gifts or ballistic projectiles that's quite the discrepancy it's like you could either give it as a gift or you could you know kill someone with it by throwing it at them some find this quite charming whereas others argue that it's actually weird and gross um, to more, for more information, I need to raise this monster's tape to five stars. All right, I've only seen one of these. I'm looking in the upper right. I've only recorded one out of 20, and that's good enough for 0.8%. We'll close it up. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones, and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. All right, here I go. 
Oh my. Your turn, don't be shy. It's like Persona, you know? It's like Persona 3, except instead of, you know, pointing a firearm at your head, it's putting a cassette player on. Go tamer. I love the, the graphics of the black and white crackly as we change, and I turned into not as cool of a monster as her, but let's go. Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Right. Let's give them hell. Let's do it. All right. And look at this. It is a Walkman. I can fight. I can stop. I can pause. I can fast forward. I can record. We're going to fight. And looks like I have two choices here. Smack, which is a melee attack, power 30. Or Sugar Rush, which I can't do because it's passive. The user's speed is passively raised in proportion to the amount of hit points lost. Okay, we'll smack it. I'm going to smash the traffic crab. Of course I am. And, oh, I can control her too. All right, well... Why don't you fight? And she can do spit, ranged attack, dodge, or call for help. Just spit it. Take that, traffic crash. Oh, he's gone. We won. Look at our tapes leveling up. Bomb bomb blast. I got a new ability, I guess. It's a ranged attack that's 3 out of 10 power, maybe? Um, or I don't know what that rating means. Power 70, accuracy 85, hits one target, lowers the target's evasion. I got some plastic. That's fantastic. You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's I'm your name? Kaylee. Hey, Kaylee. Nice to meet your acquaintance, Cass. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Thanks for saying that. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? It looks like a boat on the top of the house, like Mary Poppins. I'm... That's great. Uh, where am I? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. Why do you say that? Uh... Right, yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how to best break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. My head is spinning. I passed out. Wonderful. Oh wow, listen to this music. Interesting. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door, says Dr. Pinsby. She has a no shirt on. Like, this is not allowed. And in, I think she means everything is not allowed. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Cass. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbortown happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. What on earth is this place? Pensby is like, uh, Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Wirral. Um, hey, like from Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Now, it's not an info dump. I actually need an info dump. I'm in a new dimension or world. Info me. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's what we think. Is there a way I'm back home? Not. Oh boy. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but, but you'll be okay. There's a community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's great. It's not a bad life, per se. A and it's safe. Uh, well, apart from the monsters. Uh, like with the cassette player? Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we, cost, we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Okay. 
We also fetch some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We could talk more then if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. Are you a trainer? You have a lab coat. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. New quest. This is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee in the Harbortown East entrance. We got the Ranger Handbook. A handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read it to review what you've learned about the life on the island of New Wirral. All right. Oh, okay. You can mess with this here. Change your appearance. <laughs> the mini map is pretty sweet in the lower right. Oh, I can move that. I don't think I did a good job there. It's a letterbox. How strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyway. This will connect to the internet. Yeah, sure. Check it anyway. The letterbox is empty. There's a keypad at the back though. Will you enter a code? Um, yeah. I don't know what the code is. Oh, I'm living in the music shop or above it. Hey, look. We look strangely similar. How you doing? You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbortown start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Yeah, dude. Hi. Hey. Are you new on the island? The look on your face gives it away. I like how they have it. It is kind of like Persona where people will say one word to you and then the rest is like not spoken. It does help out, you know, make it it seem to have more depth. Have you been to the west side of Harbortown yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You scare me. I was hoping to cross the bridge, but it's been raised for a while now. That's fine. I could stay on this side of town. I guess. Yeah, it looks like the bridge is raised. Conveniently... I can't go that way. Can I break into your house? I can. What's in here? Oh, it's the clinic. Welcome. What can I do for you? Just saying hi. Goodbye. She's like, yeah, goodbye. Try not to get yourself hurt out there. I like how, hey, I'm just coming by to say hi. Yeah, goodbye. Thanks, Doc. Nice clinic you've got here. You're the n new to the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? A little piece of advice for you. The key is not to think about how it works. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense, but it does work. So just go along with it. I like your attitude. We don't know. It just, it, the, you put a cassette player on and you become something else. It's just how life works here in Harbor Town. Hello. Uh, For 101 years, this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. The town changes so much, so fast. But the foundations, they've always stayed the same. Okay. I believe you. Sorry. Captain Lodestein. Sorry, bud. You'll have to come back later to use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. I have a headlamp on, even though it's middle of the day thanks captain all right let's go over here there she is let's go meet her is there a a sword in the lost woods or okay hey are you feeling a little better no you know you held your own last time we fought together so well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? You got that right. Glad to hear you're up to the task. You see that path up there? Well. There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You could see the cracks in the ground. I see them. 
I'm going to check out the path to make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take this key to the gate. Got it. They trust me so much here. Just don't let the monsters in. Oh, it's out of my inventory. Just like that. Uh, who's that dude down there? Well, anyway. Obviously, the first thing to do is go to this, like, Super Mario drain pipe. Oh, my God. I fell in the water. That might have actually hurt me. You know, I also get a bit of a vibe of, like, uh... uh mother from this game all right let's see here right uh there's some basics i gotta show you first i hope you're ready i guess it's called um earthbound uh for the super nintendo i hope you're ready to turn into a monster again definitely <laughs> you'll just in no time it's like riding a bike is it except you know it's a bike transformed into a pastel horned devil and you're the bike you see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's going to get aggressive with you if you get any closer. Oh, we're getting closer. So you're going to get closer, of course. You read my mind, Kaylee. I dare you to get aggressive. Nice wings. It's a pretty serious belt buckle. All right, we're going to fight, buddy. Tutorial, action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a tar uh, type advantaged attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker, low AP moves. I like it. So that's what these meant. So, like, smack costs nothing. Bomb bomb bat blast costs three. All right, smack this guy in the face. And then fight him. And just spit in his face. That's so insulting. Ow. Oh, God, he struck me. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in the fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. How? If both of us lose all our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Yeah, sure. Nice. Let's crack on. Hit him. Spit in his face. All right, we're gonna fight. Bonbon bon Blast. Give him the Bonbon. Bon. Fight. Call for help. <laughs> Just spit in his face. Man, this guy's fast. Oh my god, I've missed. Alright. No more of this. We're gonna die. My face. I wanted to do the Bonbon. Bon. All right, level it up. All right, Sonic, boom. Now she got a big attack. Hits the whole team. Oh my God, that's good. Sirenade, I love it. Sonic, boom, equipped. We got some wheat and some pulp. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Nice work. That elevator should be functioning. There'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. There better be, Kaylee. Your life depends on it. We'll never escape if this elevator isn't working. Got my health. Um, I'm push pushing start, and I'm going to see... Look at my inventory here. Consumables, empty. Blank tape, stickers, resources. It can be turned into food by certain people. Okay. Now... Well, Looks like we need to go back to the dock if we want to get healed. Look at that. Hey. Great, let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. She's my partner. 
That's great. So this is her monster form, Sirenade. They're particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. That's fantastic. Quest updated. This is the world we live in. Follow Kaylee's directions. All right. So she jumped up there flying with her wings. And now she flew back. So the switch was in that little cave. And let's go up here. Let's ride this. Let's go. Hey. Do you need a break? We can rest here if you'd like. Yeah, I need a break. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Yeah, I need to do that. I'm horrifyingly injured. Um, now, I pushed X to, to interact with that. Yes. Hey, look at us. Aw, I can't rest. I don't have any logs. Party. Yeah, that's us. Tape storage. Nothing. Inventory. I'm empty. All right. Well, I tried. Let's see if we can get some logs. Can I, like, chop down a tree? No. What about that plank up there? Can I take that? Give me that. Nah, that's a no. That's a complete no. I'm going to explore up here. You can't stop me. There could be secrets everywhere, for all I know. Who's this dude? There'll be more monsters about, but we can take him. Hey, man, how's it going? I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Rewind. Fully restores the hit points of one tape. Uses up a turn when used in combat. That's great. Thanks, man. You're very generous. I like your style. Let's go, crab. No, there's a spring heel. Oh, God, we might be dead. It's okay. We're going to kill the traffic crab first. And we need you... To also kill the traffic crab. God, these guys, they love hitting me. Uh, this is painful, but... And then use your sonic boom. Hit him. Alright. Want the sonic boom. Ooh, a little extra damage there. Didn't need that. There you go. Sonic Boom is sweet. All right. We're going to go ahead and use an, uh, a rewind. Use on the Can Devil, of course. It does take up my turn, but who cares? Now, we could, we could spit in this guy's face, but I'm just going to do Sonic Boom again. I don't think you carry the AP with you out of combat, so it does more damage than my basic attack. Get him. Busted him up. Victory. Yes. We leveled up. We got Raise Arms. Raises the user's ranged attack. Okay. That's how we do. Thanks for those rewinds, dude. What's this wind blast? Oh, I can't make it. Oh, I was knocked off. Come on, it's this way. Look, I can't do that. Oh, she picked me up. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty sweet. Alright. I know you want me to go over here. I get that. Hmm. Do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it to come over here. Okay. You tell me. Oh yeah, look. There's a switch. Look at this. A moth to the flame. Hi. Okay. Take these. Basic tapes. Record monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Oh, we can capture it. There's something about the monsters on New Wirral. Well. When weakened, their essence can be well recorded into cassette tapes or pokeballs. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. That's right. It's not just good, it's great. All right, record using a, use this on the Dominoth. All right, hit it. All 
Recording. Oh, my chance went up because it got hurt. Get it. Yes. We got Dominoth. They see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Yeah, they get wrecked by lamps. Tutorial recording tapes. Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffering your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal to the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. That's fun. You can give a new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be attained in a few ways, by filling tapes experience point bars from chests or caches you find from certain merchants in Harbor Town. All right, so let's view stickers, smack, and sprint. So I could put smack, oh wait, empty slot, okay. Um, they, I guess it has smack and sprint. I could rename it, I could favorite it, but we're gonna close it up. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Switch. Uh, transform. Fight. Spit. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Now let's finish this bug off. Ow. Nice shot. Fight. Smack. Spit. Look, dude. We don't need you to do that. Right in its face. The battle was won. Boom. Okay. He got uh, a ranged attack called Zephyr. Sweet. It actually only takes two. Oh. Is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. Mothwing Glide. You can now hold A to glide across, glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I should have probably warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across that gap right there. Sweet. All right. Thanks. Thanks for telling me this. All right. I'll jump up here. And then... We did it. My God, we made it. Hit this. Hey, we put a little wind gust there so we can get back here easily. I'm in favor of that. What is this earthquake, Kaylee? You didn't huh? tell me. What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Yeah, let's go. Who's this? Cone man. Oh my god. Dandelion? That thing looks sweet. Alright. Record. Use it on the dandelion. I want that. Now fight. Hit that dandelion. trying to record it. Tutorial uprooted. Air type attacks can uproot plant type targets, disconnecting them from the source of their nutrients, the ground. Characters with AP drain gain one fewer 
AP each round. Okay. Ow. Ow. Did we get it? We got it. Heck yeah, we did. Dandelions are loyal defensive guardians. They're typically found standing at the entrances to important caves in the grassy plains of New Wirral. If you find one with no cave nearby, maybe a hint that something is hidden. Oh, okay. We'll look for caves then. All right. So they have big max HP, lots of defense. They have smack and they have defend their plant type. Sweet. All right, so now what we need to do is fight. And why don't you bomb bomb blast the dandelion? And then I don't think that you'll die, so I'm going to go ahead and fight and sonic boom. Oof. All I do is miss with that ability. I don't like it. Ow. All right. Right here actually just you know what use an item use the rewind on her use your turn to do it because she can do sonic boom which is actually damaging take him down the victory is all ours we obtained wallop Good job, Domina. Shaken. Okay, you felt that one, right? Yeah. Oh my god. A sinkhole. Whoa. What? What is that? Was this always here? This isn't normal? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? This is the world we live in. Investigate the strange structure. Let's check it out. Huh? Is this a train station? It should be okay to take a look around, right? I mean, you tell me. I don't know. Wow, this is getting spooky. Station A is closed. Well, awesome, everyone. Honestly, I think this is a good place to end this first episode and just get a taste of what this game is all about. I have to say, I love the visuals of the game. Uh, the combat is, you know, it feels very intuitive because it is familiar in a lot of ways, but I like the you know, cassette tape aesthetic and the spin on things, the music, the small voice acting, everything is working in this game. And I'd love to know what you think of it. Have you played it? Do you recommend it? Um, would you like to see more of this game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care.